Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you guys do? We paint. You paint? Mostly. Paint. You paint what? It differs to the things that are around you, but sometimes we look at the room that we have, uh -huh. we just, or we look at each other. Uh -huh. <laughs> or you use um, the lime that you bought in the market, or all those things that surround you. Mm. Yeah. A lot of uh, people. A lot of people? I like to paint people. What's your name? Huol. What? Huol. How do you spell that? R-O-A-L-D. R-O-A-L-D. Yeah. Huald. Huald. Okay. And what's your name? Kirsten. Kirsten. Okay. And where are we right now? We're in Paris. You're in we, Paris? We have a scholarship from Norway, so we're allowed to live for free and to get some money to eat and yeah. to paint and oh, okay. to go to museums for free. And, and where are you at in Paris? Six months. Where are we at right now? The city. The Cité? Mm -hmm. The Cité des Arts? Yeah. Oh, okay, so you guys are like uh, having an internship yeah. in the Cité des Arts. Mm -hmm. Okay, is this the first time you come? Mm -hmm. And how long do you stay? Uh, six months. We six months? Six months. Yeah. Okay, and uh, can I see some of your work? Can you show me some of your work? Yeah. Okay, <laughs> let's go, let's go over here. Which kind of uh, house Are you going back in the bedroom? Uh, That's okay. It's oh, you got a book. A living room. Wow, you must be pretty famous. Are you famous? <laughs> it depends. It depends. Here are some of the works that we do together. Okay. So you do portraits? Yeah. Or, yeah. or people? Mm. Figures? Yeah. It huh. started out with um, me making the drawing and then Guall has uh, uh, been studying in Italy, figurative mm -hmm. artist. So he's... Uh, making the volume. And okay. After a while we started to paint both on the same side. So you work together, the two of you, you work volume. together on, on the same yeah. canvas. Same okay, time. let's go look at this one over here. And that's just uh, a new stuff, so we try to... Um, it's always hard when you're starting because you don't know what it will be. And mm -hmm. then we add and add and... I don't know what... We usually it disappears and you work in layers and you end up with something else. But that's the nice thing with painting. Uh huh. And when you work together on a on a canvas, does that mean that you're both painting on the canvas at the same time? Yeah, but mainly we would uh, maybe one would be a model for for uh, for a pose, and then uh, and then we would change, and the other one would paint or mm -hmm. draw, and then uh, the other one would pose. So it's uh, but we use each other a lot, and and the mirror also. Uh huh. Uh, to to. Uh, Let's I say, see. okay, if, I, if I'm like this, then you draw me, and then I go, okay, it's then like this, and then I draw him. So uh -huh. it's this, um, it's, it's, it's an exchange. Yeah. So you, you guys are like the perfect couple because you're in harmony in your life, and you're in <laughs> harmony in your work. Yeah, yeah but it's really. a lot of fighting when you work together. It's not so, it's really, it's a hard process when you do it alone, and it's maybe even worse when you do it. <laughs> yeah, okay. You, always want you can to always play with the other one. You, That's the but good. you always want to be the one. Uh, you know, could, could oh, it's like, a, it's like a power struggle. It, it's, it's not. It, it can be, but. Uh, uh, it varies. Well, some of the canvases are nice and they do crumb break. Yeah? That part, but sometimes they are really impossible to, to get. And we also try to work with making some uh, more abstract parts to work together with the classics so that. When he's, uh, well, it's normally painting uh, figurative. Uh huh. So it's also to fight on a canvas to work with both figurative and uh, more abstract elements. Uh huh. But that none of them should win in a way. So it's it's not um, that the abs or the figurative is more correct. <laughs> uh huh. And how long have you been painting? Uh, I've been painting for uh, maybe ten. 11 years. 11 years? Were you like 12? Uh, yeah, <laughs> but, uh, but not really, uh, you know, just for fun in the beginning, not really. Uh, I had, I didn't, I studied it for five, five years. Uh-huh. Uh, Where did you study? Uh, I studied in a school, art school in Norway, uh, uh -huh. and then I went to uh, Florence, Italy for uh -huh. four years. So you studied the classics? Yeah, studying uh, classical painting. Okay, and when you like learn how to paint, what what why do you have to study the classics? What makes you want to go to the classics? Um, what did they tell you in school? Uh, 
Well, I mean, it, it's uh, if if you want to be able to uh, represent uh, form or or, uh, or you want to represent skin uh, quality, uh, it's really uh, uh, I think it's uh, essential to study uh, like the, the the greatest masters who mm -hmm. really did paintings that we we still you know pay money to go and look at. Uh, Can you tell me who are some of the most famous uh, Norwegian painters? that most people know. Are there any painters from Norway that people know? How do you spell that? But Moki is the one, he did the Scream uh, painting, he's most famous. I don't know if you see this uh, woman on the bridge. This one? Oh, um, he was also in Paris, so that's actually why we are here, because uh, there was a woman who was together with a painter, and mm -hmm. then afterwards, when he died, uh, she was together with a bankman, and she collected works of Munch. Mm -hmm. So I think it's, um, it's uh, money from his work, artwork that goes into this flat, so we can get it. Okay, so and here's a famous one. Okay. okay. This is not so known. It's uh, the scream that I usually. <laughs> yeah. I don't know now. Oh, that looks. Good. <laughs> it looks kind of like Van Goghish there. I saw one. It looked. Yeah. You know, I saw something back here. I just saw the colors very quickly. There you go. That reminds me. Yeah. You seeing the color, the color schemes? Mm -hmm. Yeah. He, he was a. Uh, um, I don't know. He, he had a hard life, like uh, a lot of of the artists. But uh, in the end of his life, he was uh, recognized. Yeah, but he, he lived really, uh, like not really part of uh, the art. Uh, Society at the end of his life, he just had an old house and just painted and mm -hmm. lived with his painting, paintings okay. around him, which he called his his children. So, uh, and he also put the painting outside to let the winter and the wind and the nature uh, nature weathered it. Work, with work on his work. Okay, is this your work too? The drawing. Yeah, the drawing is you. Uh, the drawing is me. I'm. I went to Oslo at the academy and I'm much more used to working abstract uh -huh. or not like uh, conceptual. Mm -hmm. So I tried to make some of these um, little sculptures. Yes, that uh, I could place with the bakers so uh -huh. they could have a sculpture that would soften people's heart and they could get some more money. <laughs> oh, I see. So you, you sculpted people who were like in the street begging <laughs> as models. When you go to all this. Um, Museums and see all the sculptures and things. You want to try out everything when you mm -hmm. pack it. Yeah, that oh, is beautiful. And what ma matter did you use to sculpt it? Just thing we find in film or so this plaster. Or it, it depends. It's, it's just uh, you don't really have to burn it. It's, uh, you just make it. It's kind of tough to to work with. Uh huh. But then it dries uh, within 24 hours, and it's. Uh -huh. just wow. So you're multi-talented. You don't. You're not just a painter. You're a sculptor also. This is the. It was black when I found it, so I painted it. Okay. <laughs> you found that in the street. Yeah, we find things on flea marks in uh, um, garbage places. Uh huh. It's really nice. And then you transform it. They make. They have all these strange things. Yeah. <laughs> So I tried to find them and I moved them around and I think what to do with them and after a while. And you made this? Are part of the piece. You no, found this, that? I found that. Okay. <laughs> but it, it could be mine. <laughs> could be our piece. It could be. It could be. What's your secret? What do you, how do you tell, what would somebody have to do to get to the point that you are today? To arrive at a city today's art? To work. And to work. To present or to apply for, for scholarship. Uh -huh. Really, uh, Be alive or wanting to, to let go yeah. what you have. <laughs> yeah, just like so. jump out there yeah. and work hard, work hard. Yeah, but you, you really uh, such a big part of it is it's also uh, presenting yourself uh, today. Uh, I'm sure you know all about it. And, uh, you know, <laughs> reaching out to to uh, it's not uh, it's not like uh, you get discovered or somebody comes and finds you. It's uh, you have to uh, tell people that. That they should look at you. And work hard. And work, work hard for sure. Okay, this is Joseph Langley. What's your name? Walt. Walt and? <laughs> Kirsten. Uh, Kirsten. Thank you so much. Thank you. All right.